The Soft Hackle Silver Bead Nymph, a great nymph I've been using since the mid-90s, particularly for smaller trout, for harder trout. A lot of its success, I think, is due to this faceted silver tungsten bead. This reflects light differently from regular beads, looking a lot like an air bubble. I've caught many, many trout from spring creeks, small streams, many situations. The materials are easy to find, uh, very simple, a uh, lot of fun to tie, and um, I'll go through the sequence here now with you. We're going to start off by putting the curved hook in the vise with the silver faceted tungsten bead on. I'm going to put a few turns on behind the tungsten bead. Now just pull the tungsten bead back a little bit and leave a millimetre or so to put the soft hackle on later. Now we'll go back behind the bead and trim off the surplus end. Now we're just going to put some winds through to the curve of the hook and come forward behind the bead. Now with the rabbit dubbing, any grey coloured or tan coloured dubbing is fine on this nymph. We're just going to dub here, I'm spinning it. Just using the softer greyish sort of part of the rabbit and leaving in a few guard hairs. I, I particularly like this to look quite scruffy. And here we go, we're going to dub on. Before we do that, I'm going to put just a little bit of super glue behind the bead. This helps hold everything in place. And because I'm not using a rib on this fly, it just stops the dubbing coming off. I go right back to the curve and then go forward again, building up a slight tape in the body. A few good turns behind the bead, now we're going forward. Now I'm going to grab the grey partridge hackle, as you can see. Strip it like so. Take those off, that gives just a little tag to tie in. Tie that in with a few turns. Now I'm going to wind it around. I'm using my hands here, you can use hackle pliers if you like. Pull off any excess. A few turns around to secure. Trim if you feel you've got too much. You don't want to over hackle this fly. Hold all the hackles back now. And a few turns to secure it in and tie the head. Now we're going to whip finish the fly, however you choose, trim off, and a little bit of head cement, I'm using super glue in this case, really gives a robust nature to the fly, and voila, here we are, we have the fly finished, a very realistic fly, great fly for a lot of situations.